levers. <clears throat> what do we have up here? We have a wind turbine. If you noticed earlier in my previous videos, I did one on wind turbines. You're probably asking, so what's the deal here? Let's turn around and look at this one. This wind turbine is a little bit different. Apparently this wind turbine had a malfunction and blew up the primary electrical service. If you look right here, this is grounded. All of this is all the wire in the turbine for the transformer. This is this is a very, very, very large transformer. As you can see by the, the, the marks on the pole and the ground around us, this turbine took a took a jolt. Let's look down here. You see the you see the wires there? That's what you get when you don't pro well actually let's talk let's take a look. Why are the wires over there? Let's first let's get analyze this. There's a lot of wire right there. You think, why did they miss that? That's my first thought. Let's go around here. Okay, you see this this edge in this hole? Right where my foot is was where this corner was at one time. So when this when this transformer blew up over the last couple of days, it was so violent. It was so violent that it blew from here to here. It moved literally up. This is probably a six or eight thousand pound, if not more, piece of equipment. And it picked it up and shifted it that way that much. It just disintegrated the ground here. It vaporized everything inside. It blew the paint clear off the pole. If you look up here, it smoked so hard it blew the blades up. Those blades are probably 250 foot off the ground, if not more. <laughs> I would have liked to have been here when this thing blew up, about out there to see it. Because it was probably, probably pretty vicious. This is like, we actually were going down the highway. We saw this, and we had to make a run around, because this is really, really rare to see something this violent go up. And us as electricians, this is in essence a treat to us to see something like this. Come back around, let's look again. I'm not gonna get the nameplate. I'm gonna tell you, that transformer, I said seven or eight, I think that transformer weighs probably nine to 12,000 pounds. And to take that much energy and pick it up and move it like that is phenomenal. Right here, ground clamps. Why they do that? They did that because it's just probably a procedure from them. So they've already been here. They're probably gonna start this uh, probably tomorrow morning to fix this. This is Saturday evening or Sunday evening. I'm sorry They'll probably have a crew out here Tomorrow morning to do this. I don't know what they're going to do, but it is ain't gonna be easy because it's gonna be You got to repair all this primary line Which probably comes from that way. You're probably talking 15 20 30 50 thousand dollars This is probably area of fifteen or twenty thousand dollars this way to fix if not more and then you gotta buy a transformer which is probably about a thirty thousand dollar heat so we're probably looking at a a ninety a ninety to hundred and fifteen thousand dollar hickey without painting the pole if you're talking about painting the pole let's look at this this is a little light on top of these probably look at how violent it got right there that's that's like fifteen foot away from the the burst and it described that around this side look over here look at this this is like plastic from water it's insane it blew all the stuff around here like that and just vaporized it over 
here not so much because it burned it off. Amazing. It's just amazing. Okay. Let's shut off right here. It's been an education for all of us. So let's uh let's look at what we got. This is really rare. Take care. Comment if you want to. See y'all later.